So here we have an integral around a closed curve. We can see that it's oriented counterclockwise, so in our positive direction, uh, of some particular vector field. And again, C is this triangular curve with the vertices at the origin, 1, 0, and 0, 1. So we could certainly compute this directly. Um, that would involve uh, creating three separate parametrizations for each one of these line segments as we went around the curve. So what that would result in is three integrals that we would then ultimately have to add together to figure out the total value of the line integral. Now that we have Green's theorem, we have a better way to do this. In some ways it may seem a little counterintuitive because we're actually going to convert this to a double integral, which may seem like we're making it worse. But remember, computing this directly would require that we have three separate single integrals and the work of parametrizing those individual curves. So Green's theorem says the integral over the curve of p dx plus q dy is equal to the double integral over the region d of the partial of q with respect to x minus the partial of p with respect to y dA. Again, it's really important to understand that when we apply Green's theorem, this is only for closed curves. Right, we can't apply it if I don't have a closed region D that we can explicitly define. In this case, that region D lies inside the triangle here. So again, our choices are we can either integrate three single integrals, parametrizing each one of those curves, or we can do one double integral over the region D. In this case, the region is triangular, so it turns out to be a fairly simple region. We just have to pull out the pieces that we want from above. So I need the partial of Q with respect to X and the partial of P with respect to Y to set up my integram. So if we go back up to our original problem statement here, we've got that P is equal to X to the fourth and Q is equal to XY. So let's take those partials. The partial of Q with respect to X is Y, and the partial of P with respect to Y is zero. So here we actually end up with a very simple integram, and we have the integral over the region D then of just Y dA. Now the only real work that we have to do is to set up the limits of integration. So if we go through, we're gonna go function to function maybe this way. So we can say that y is going to be trapped between 0 and the equation of that line. And we'll go constant to constant maybe along the, the x-axis here, which then x goes from 0 to 1 um, on that range. So the only thing really to do now is to find the equation of the line, the diagonal line. In this case, that's pretty straightforward. You've got points at 0, 1, and 1, 0. So this is obviously a 45 degree angle. Um, and its slope is negative 1. So this would be y equals minus x plus 1 for that y-intercept. So now we've got our region D where y is bounded between 0 and 1 minus x, and x is bounded between 0 and 1. And there you have it. It's really just a matter of putting those bounds onto that integral going function to function first, 0 to 1 minus x on the y's, dy dx, and then throwing x from 0 to 1. And that is a fairly straightforward integral for us to solve. Um, I'll let you guys finish that out. But it's much simpler, I think, this way, applying Green's theorem to convert it to a double integral than it would be to, say, again, parametrize each one of those curves uh, as we go through and find an integral for each one of them through the field this way. So real powerful use of uh, Green's theorem.